हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्रशांत आई ए एस सो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास आई हैव टॉट यू इन डिटेल अबाउट द चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओके मीन्स हाउ ही इज अपॉइंटेड हु अपॉइंट्स हिम हु रिमूव्स हिम ओके एंड आई ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू दैट वट इज द टेन योर ऑफ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर what is the status of chief election commissioner and we have discussed all the things about chief election commissioner but in the last class one thing was remaining and i told you that i will teach that in next class okay so in this class we will discuss about election commissioners so i told you that in india there is one chief election commissioners and there are two more election commissioners now friends here you need to know one very important thing and that thing is that if the election commission of india is a single member body single member body means it is only having chief election commissioner then there is no problem but if it is a multi member body for example currently in india it is a three member body so now in this situation the chief election commissioner will act as the chair person he will act as the chairman of election commission of india so in india the chief election commissioner also acts as the chair person of election commission of india so friends before continuing our class further i just want to tell you about the an academy so in the previous classes i have also told you about so now there will be price hike coming soon so now i request you all that subscribe to an academy as soon as possible otherwise there will be a price hike so now if you will subscribe now then you will get exclusive 20% off on all academy subscriptions okay and you can start your preparation journey now so if you will subscribe now then you will get 20% off okay so the entire rates are mentioned here and it is also mentioned that you will get 20 flat 20% off so what you have to do you have to just use my code pias10 and you will got you will get flat 20% off on all the courses okay and it is valid till 19th of may now friends after this there is one very important thing so there will be a live test an academy ultra combat okay this is for civil services prelims 2022 2023 2024 20, okay there will be 56 questions for 60 minutes now the top 3 rankers will get very good awards so there is macbook air ipad and samsung mobile okay so the top 3 rankers will get these awards now friends after this there is one thing an academy's daily scholarship test for upsc csc okay so all the features are mentioned here now friends after this there is one thing pathfinder current affairs may 2022 free test series for upsc csc okay so we know that current affairs play a very important role in upsc prelims and mains so and current uh, test series is also very important so this is current affairs test series okay there will be 25 mcqs you will have 30 minutes time and uh, it is in hindi and english both okay so this test is conducted every saturday at 5 pm what you have to do you have to click the link given in description and just use my code pis10 and then you will be able to get you will be able to give this test for free of cost so friends now let's continue with our topic so we were discussing about election commissioners so the first and the most important question is that who appoints the election commissioners okay so here we are not discussing about chief election commissioner i told you that there is one chief election commissioner and there are two election uh, there are two election commissioners so now we are discussing about these two election commissioners theek hai so now the next thing is that who appoints these election commissioners so the answer to this question is that the president of india appoints these election commissioners okay so president of india appoints them so friends now after appointment the next important question is that who removes or who has the power to remove the election commissioner okay or which authority has the power to remove the election commissioners so again the answer is same president of india okay so president of india has the power to remove these election commissioners so now you can simply say that these election commissioners are appointed by president and they can also be removed by the president so president of india is the sole authority who has the power to appoint and to remove these uh, election commissioners now friends we have discussed about the appointment and removal of the election commissioners 
बट द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट कैन प्रेसिडेंट अपॉइंट कैन प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया अपॉइंट दिस इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स इन हिज ओन डिस्क्रिप्शन इज दिस अ डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पावर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट और द एडवाइस और रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ एनी बॉडी इज नीडेड फॉर द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट वेदर दिस पावर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पावर और नॉट सो फ्रेंड्स द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट दिस पावर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट इज नॉट हिज डिस्क्रिप्शनरी पावर एक्चुअली प्रेसिडेंट अपॉइंट द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओके सो कीप दिस इज माइंड दैट प्रेसिडेंट अपॉइंट इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर सो प्रैक्टिकली ही हैज द पावर नाउ फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर दिस द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वट इज द टर्म और वट इज द टेन्योर ऑफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर्स सो वंस अ पर्सन इज अपॉइंटेड एज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर देन फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ही विल रिमेन इन हिज ऑफिस फॉर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ही विल गिव हिज सर्विस ओके सो नाउ लेट इज फाइंड आउट द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन सो फ्रेंड्स द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट द टेन्योर ऑफ अ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर इज सिक्स ईयर्स ओके और सिक्सटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज विच एवर इज अर्लियर नाउ वट डज इट मीन सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज दिस इज अ पर्सन मिस्टर ए ओके दिस इज अ पर्सन मिस्टर ए एंड मिस्टर ए हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड बाय द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर now let's suppose that when he was appointed okay his a uh, when he was appointed his age is let's suppose 55 years okay so it means that when he will complete 6 years in his office for example when he will become he will attain the age of 61 okay then he will get his retirement so he will retire he will get retirement from his office at the age of 61 why because he will remain in office for 6 years now let us take second example now let's suppose there is a second person mr b now mr b was appointed by the president of india as the election commissioner when he was 63 years old okay when he was 63 years old but okay so now my question is that when mr b will get his retirement so now the mr b will get his retirement after 2 years means when he will attain the attain the age of 65 years then he will get his retirement why because a person can remain in his office as election commissioner for a maximum duration of 6 years or 65 years of age whichever is earlier so now mr b has attained 65 years of age just after 2 years so he will get his retirement after 2 year so this is regarding the tenure of election commissioners now friends after this i have one more question for you okay so i will first of all recite you one story and then i will ask one question so let's suppose this is a person and the name of this person is let's suppose mr uh, mr d okay so what is the name of this person mr d now what happened that at the age of 50 uh, let's suppose at the age of 52 years okay at the age of 52 years mr d was appointed by the president of india as the election commissioner okay so means at the age of 52 years now mr d is a election commissioner now first of all the first question is that when he will get his retirement so now you can clearly say that sir after 6 years means when he will uh, attain 58 years of age okay then he will get his retirement now friends my question is that when mr d get his retirement when he will attain the age of 58 years of age then after that is he eligible for reappointment is mr d eligible for reappointment as a election commissioner or not okay so this is my first question that whether mr d is eligible for reappointment as a election commissioner or not now i have one more question so now my second question is that whether he can be appointed as chief election commissioner or not okay so now what you have to do just pause the video and give your answer in the comment section okay so please do it think and give your answer in the comment section and now i am telling you the correct answer so the answer to this question is that once a person has served 
एज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर देन ही इज नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर रीअपॉइंटमेंट एज इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओके मीन्स इफ मिस्टर डी हैज सर्व एज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओके एंड ही गॉट इज रिटायरमेंट नाउ ही कैन नॉट बी रीअपॉइंटेड एज अ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओके सो नाउ ही कैन नॉट बी रीअपॉइंटेड नाउ ही कैन नॉट बिकम इलेक्शन कमिश्नर बट द आंसर ऑफ द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज येस सो दिस मीन्स दैट इवन दो अ पर्सन हैज सर्व एज द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर देन ऑल्सो ही कैन बी मेड चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर सो इवन दो मिस्टर डी हैज वर्क इन द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर डी has worked as a election commissioner then okay so after his retirement he can be appointed as the chief election commissioner so do remember this thing is mind because this is little bit technical so the question can be asked from this concept that whether a person who has got his retirement from as a election commissioner so whether he can be reappointed as election commissioner or not or whether that person can be appointed as a chief election commissioner or not so you have to remember as a thumb of rule that he cannot be appointed reappointed as election commissioner but he can be appointed as chief election commissioner now friends then the next important question is that what is the status of election commissioners so in the last class we have also discussed about the status of chief election commissioner and what is the meaning of status here so status means for example we can say rank so what is the rank or what is the status of election commissioner so friends the answer of this question is that an election commissioner enjoys the status equivalent to the judge of supreme court okay means the status of a judge of supreme court and the status of a election commissioner are equal so one election commissioner so election commissioners enjoy the status equivalent to that of a supreme court judge okay so you can say that their rank is equivalent to that of a supreme court judge now friends after this the next important question is that i have told you that in india uh, election commission of india is a multi member body okay so even though as per our constitution it can be a single member body also okay but it can uh, okay so and it can be a multi member body also but currently it is a multi member body so we are having a chief election commissioner and he is also a chair person he is also the chair person of election commission of india and then we are having election commissioners okay so this thing i have already explained you so now my question is that whether the powers whether the powers of chief election commissioner of india and election commissioners whether they are equal or whether the powers of election commissioners is not equivalent to the power of chief election commissioners what i mean to say is that this is very important question regarding the powers as this is a multi member body and we clearly know that chief election commissioner is the chair person of election commission of india so whether the powers of election commissioners and chief election commissioner is equal whether the powers enjoyed by election commissioner is equivalent to that of chief election commissioner or whether the powers of election commissioners is less than chief election commissioner okay so can you think what should be logically be the answer so again i want all of you to pause the video and give your answer in the comment section and now i am telling you that what is the current status so friends the answer to this question is that the powers of election commissioners is actually equivalent to equal to that of chief election commissioner okay so even though the chief election commissioner is the chair person but then also the powers enjoyed by chief election commissioner and other election commissioners they are same okay so keep this thing in mind so now you can ask me that sir why this happens when chief election commissioner is the chair person then he must enjoy more powers okay so then why the powers of election commissioners and chief election commissioner is same so for understanding this thing you have you need to understand that how the decisions are taken in how the decisions are taken in election commission of india so now let's see that how all the decisions are taken 
in the election commission of india okay so friends in the election commission of india decisions are taken on the basis of the principle of majority okay so all the decisions are taken on the basis of the principle of majority now what does it mean so let's suppose we know that election commission of india makes many rules for conducting the elections election commission of india has the power to make rules for the conduct of election now let's suppose one particular rule has to be made by the election commission of india regarding lok sabha elections okay so this is example that let's suppose election commission of india has to make one rule okay it has to make one rule for lok sabha elections now how this decision will be taken how the election commission of india will make that rule so first of all the chief election commissioner okay and election commissioners they will sit together okay and they will deliberate they will discuss or uh, that what should be the provisions of that rule and all the things about that and then what will happen the votes will then the votes will be casted that who are in the favor of this rule and who are against the rule okay so now let's suppose so now the this rule will be enforced only in two condition okay only in that condition when this rule is passed by majority majority means if let's suppose two people have supported and one person has not supported okay or all of the three have supported but if the condition is otherwise means if two people have opposed and only one person has supported then the rule will not be made okay so now here you can clearly see that here chief election commissioner has no extra power other than election commissioners here the power of election commissioners and chief election commissioner is equivalent okay so the vote value of a election commissioner is 1 the vote value of election commissioner number 2 it is also 1 and the vote value of chief election commissioner it is also 1 so all of their votes means the vote of election commissioner and chief election commissioner they is having same weightage okay and their value is 1 okay so it means that even though so it means that let's suppose two election commissioners are supporting the decision and the chief election commissioner is opposing the decision okay so now the will of two election commissioners will prevail over the decision of chief election commissioner why because decisions are taken on the basis of majority or let's suppose if one election if one election commissioner and chief election commissioner they are in the favor of a decision and one election commissioner is opposing the decision so in this scenario also what is happened that the majority has supported the decision so what will happen that the rule will be enforced okay so here you have need to understand that in the election commission of india the decisions are taken on the basis of the principle of majority okay means the vote value of chief election commissioner and election commissioners is same okay their weightage is same so what will happen that if a decision is supported by majority then it will be passed and if it is not supported by majority if it is opposed by majority then it will be failed okay and it does not matter that whether it is supported by chief election commissioner or not okay his vote has the same weightage as that of the votes of election commissioners so this is the entire working of election commission of india so friends that's all for today i again request you all that click the link given in description and use my code pis10 and you will get flat 20% off on all the courses okay and this offer is expiring soon this is valid till 19th of may so go and grab the offer soon so now friends we will meet in next class and now we will take a discussion forward till then take care of yourself thank you